Math easy solution. Here to discuss another inverse trigonometry identity video and show or basically prove this identity, which is the inverse secant of x, and showing it that it equals to inverse cosine of one uh, divided by x. And uh, also, just before I get to the proof, I just want to point out that this inverse secant is also can be also written as arc secant. Yeah, or uh, a secant of x here. You either write arc or a. It's, this means the same thing, and you, you could use these forms to graph it in Google. So I just drag this up, and I write arc uh, secant of x. Enter. So now you have. Yeah, I'm supposed to do those. Click enter again. Let's click search. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, it shows up there. So there's a graph of it. Does that's with arc. Uh, secant, as you can see, it automatically writes it as arc cos 1 divided by x. So th this means the same thing. You can even go a secant of x. Enter. Yeah, this should work. I don't know why. Every once in a while it doesn't work. Yeah, so there you go. It works. Yep, so these mean the exact same thing. And it's uh, red or yellow. I mean, it, this basically overlaps. That's why it's the same color. Anyways, uh, so now to get to the proof of this, this is pretty straightforward. We have to use our definition of inverse functions as well as definition of secant. So first, let's write I'll write out cosecant of uh, y. I mean, not cosecant, just uh, cosine of y is equal to x. So writing it like this because the definition of inverse is solving for the y function in terms of x now. So basically, it's kind of like solving for the x if this was x. But well, now we just reverse it. So, so basically, y would be written as the inverse of cosecant, or I mean, cosine of x right here. So that is y, and it's written as an inverse cosine of x. But now, when we write secant y, so basically, secant y, this equals to, by definition, you can see more on this on inverse functions and trigonometry in my video links below. This basically, by definition, is. 1 divided by cosine of y. So if it's 1 divided by cosine of y, we know cosine of y is x. This just equals to 1 divided by x. So now we have this part here. And now if we write out uh, basically uh, this y, the inverse of this, this would be y is equal to inverse secant of uh, basically 1 over x. So now we're inversing this y is uh, equaling this part inside. So 1 over x right here. So this is how we would write it. So now we have two functions for y. So we know y is equal to inverse secant of 1 over x. And this equals to uh, inverse cosine of x. Inverse 1 here. Yeah, so this, this means the exact same thing as our identity over here. It just has the x and 1 over x switched around. but uh, this, this means the same thing, and you could see it by, let's say, just change a variable around. Let's lay, let z equals to 1 over x. And then if you do that, then uh, uh, switch this around. x would equal to 1 over z. So bring x to this side, divided by z, so 1 over z. So when we plug this in, we get y is equal to secant, um, an inverse secant of z. That's for the 1 over x. This equals to inverse cosine of x is 1 over z. So now we have this over here. And as you can see, z, x, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's y. So this is our identity, and it means the exact same thing as what, as this one over here. And there's a proof of it. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video. And like always, you can download this, these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.